When determining your topic, there are two resources that will help you find more information about your interest and help you narrow down your focus. The search terms shown are examples of basic searches that you can conduct in the Articles Plus database. Articles Plus includes all of the library's print resources as well as ebooks and most of our online databases. For this reason, Articles Plus is a good place to start in your search. Below, you will see a sample of reference books in our collection that you may find helpful. From off campus, you can view ebooks such as the Encyclopedia of Sports Medicine to get basic background information about your topic. To search for ebooks in Articles Plus, click on any of the search terms that interest you or type a search phrase into the box on the left. I'm going to search for sports medicine. Articles Plus automatically opens in the Articles tab, but for now, let's look at the Books and Media tab. Note that on the left hand side, you can also limit your search to ebooks. By checking the box, you are filtering out all other results. Now our results are all accessible online. If I scroll down the page, I see the Encyclopedia of Sports Medicine. By clicking on the title, I can view more information about this book and even copy the citation information for later use if necessary. To view the book, click the Online Access link. If you haven't already, you may be prop prompted to log in through My Humboldt. When you get to the ebook, look for the table of contents or click on the Browse Book link. Skip ahead to a specific entry using the table of contents. I'm interested in exercise induced asthma, so I will select that entry. When you find background information about a topic, make note of any terms or concepts surrounding that topic and save them for use later when you begin your research. In this case, I noticed that the term bronchospasm is a synonym for asthma. Later on, I will want to use both terms in my search using the OR Boolean. I will be able to search bronchospasm or asthma to retrieve all relevant results. Also, read through the passage to discover more about the issues surrounding the topic. Different risk factors, triggers, testing methods and treatments. I'm also interested in the non-pharmacologic treatments for exercise-induced asthma, so I will save that term as well. By copying and pasting these terms into my research record, I can simply copy and paste them later when I am searching multiple databases. Continue searching for background information until you have a better idea of how you are going to narrow down your topic. It might take several searches, and you might need to look in several sources before you find the information you need. Go back to Articles Plus to find other resources, and be sure to record your progress.